I keep I keep a journal to record all of the Lord's work in my life and meditate on who he is. That's why I got this. Oh, let me see. My dad, that's 2018. Why? Right. You stupid. I started that today. You started that today? Yeah. What's in the front? Uh, the dates. Glory to God. Amen. Psalm 97. Are you there? Are you there? Are you there? Are you there? Yeah. Well, you got to start praying. You got to start praying first. Ah, leva ko rabaka senda da da diosa. Father, we thank you, we bless you, we praise you, we saturate this place with the blood of Jesus Christ. We cover our homes and our families and our communities with the blood of Jesus Christ. We plead the blood of Jesus over our city, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus over our state and over our nations. We plead the blood of Jesus over every member of our families near and far, even those we don't know, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus over our foundations, Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we soak our foundations in the blood of Jesus. Father, forgive our sins. Forgive our iniquities. Father, we know that you are merciful. Be merciful unto us, O God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray for your mercy. Father, do not remember the sins of our youth. Forgive God, our presumptuous sins, Father, in the name of Jesus, remove vanity from our eyes, God. Cleanse our hearts, our thoughts, our deeds, the work of our hands that are not pleasing to you, Father. We pray, Father, that you would pour out your mercy upon us, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Have mercy upon us, Lord. Have mercy. I pray for your mercy, for your mercy. Help us, Lord God. Help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Help us psychologically, financially, spiritually, emotionally. Help us, Lord, economically, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we ask for your mercies, Lord. We ask for your mercies for our sins, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord. We plead the blood of Jesus from the crown of our heads to the sole of our feet. From our friends and families in the room, the blood of Jesus Christ. O oh God, we bless you, we give you praise, we glorify you, we welcome you, Holy Spirit, we welcome you, we welcome you, now. Yes, Holy Spirit, we love you, we thank you, we are grateful for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we commit ourselves into your hands, we commit our families and everything that pertains to us in our families, we pray for salvation for the members of our families in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray for their salvation, Lord. We ask, Lord, that you will save them by your mercy, right? And save my children, Lord. I pray that you will raise up godly spouse for them, Lord. God. And I pray that they will be godly spouse for their spouse. I pray, God, in the name of Jesus, that, Father, every evil curse that has come against us, Lord, that they will catch a blaze and return back to sender. In the name of Jesus, we bless you, Lord. We praise you, we honor you, we worship you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, so. The Lord reigneth. Let the earth rejoice. Let the multitude of isles be glad thereof. Clouds and darkness are round about him. Righteousness and judgment are in the habitation of his throne. A fire goeth before him and burneth up his enemies round about him. His lightnings enlightened the world. The earth saw and trembled. The hills melted like wax at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the Lord of the whole earth. The heavens declare his righteousness, and all the people see his glory. Confounded be all they that serve graven images, that boast themselves of idols. Worship him, all ye gods. Zion heard and was glad, and the daughters of Judah rejoiced because of thy judgments, O Lord. For thou, Lord, art high above all the earth. Thou art exalted for all, far above all gods. Why aren't you reading? He that love the Lord hate evil. 
He preserveth the souls of his saints. He delivereth them out of the hand of the wicked. Father, preserve our souls and deliver us out of the hand of the wicked in the name of Jesus. Light is sown for the righteous and gladness for the upright in heart. Rejoice in the Lord, ye righteous, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalm 27. Our anthem is Psalm 27. Praise the Lord. The Lord is our light and our salvation. Whom shall we fear? The Lord is the strength of our lives. Of whom shall we be afraid? When the wicked, even our enemies and our foes, came upon us to eat of our flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though our host should encamp against us, our heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against us, in this will we be confident. One thing have we desired of the Lord, that we will seek after, that we may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of our lives, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble he shall hide us in his pavilion, in the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide us. He shall set us up on a rock. And now shall our heads be lifted up above our enemies round about us. Therefore, we will offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. We will I will sing, sing praises yes, unto, will the sing praises unto, unto the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when we cry with our voice, and have mercy also upon us, and answer us. When, when thou said, us, seek ye our face, my, our hearts heart set say, unto thee, thy face, Lord, will we seek. We seek. Hide not thy face far from us. Put not thy servants away in anger. You have been our help. Leave us not, neither forsake us, O God of our salvation. When our father and our mother forsake us, the Lord take us up. Teach us that we, O Lord, lead us in a plain path because of our enemies. Deliver us not over unto the will of our enemies, for false witnesses are risen up against us, and such as breathe out cruelty. We have fainted unless we have believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thy heart. Wait, I say on the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Nobody like you. The best in the world, man. Jesus. Hallelujah. He is awesome. He is awesome. Search the world. Nobody like you. Search the world. Nobody like you. Amen. Praise the Lord who is our light and our salvation. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. May the deep revelation of God be revealed unto us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Mm. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Uh, 140. Um, what? I was going to say um, Psalm 5. five? No, not 5. Uh, what did I reach? 30, 25. I'm trying to remember what I read. 30, 25. No, not 30, 25. I stopped at Psalm 30, so I got to be between. 25, that was Camille's song yeah. um, that we okay. were yeah. reading for the longest. Yes. Because um, that just spoke to his heart. Yes, I like this. Um, Amen. All right, so let's do Psalm 25. Amen. Unto thee, O, o Lord, Lord, do I lift, I lift up, my, up soul. my soul. O my God, God I trust in thee. thee. Let, Let me not be ashamed. ashamed. Let, Let not my enemies triumph over me. us. Yeah, over us. me. Yeah, 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 let none that wait on thee be ashamed. Let them be ashamed with transgression without cause. Show us thy ways, O Lord. Teach us thy path. Lead us in thy truth and teach us. For you are the God of our salvation. On thee we wait all day. Remember, Remember, O Lord, Lord thy tender mercies and thy loving kindnesses, for they, for they have been ever of old. Remember not the sins of our youth, nor our transgressions. According to thy mercy, remember thou for thy. Remember us for thy goodness sake, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord, therefore will he teach sinners in the way. 
the meek meek will lead God in judgment, and the meek will lead each his way. All the paths of the Lord are are mercy and truth unto such such as as keep his covenants and his testimonies. For thy name's sake, sake, O Lord, Lord, pardon pardon mine mine iniquities, iniquities, for Lord it is great. What man is he that that feareth the Lord? Lord. Him shall he teach in the way way that he shall choose. His soul shall shall dwell at ease, and his seed shall inherit the earth. The The secret of the Lord Lord is with them that fear him, and he will show them his covenant. Our our eyes are are ever towards the Lord, for he shall pluck our feet out of the net. Turn unto us, O God, and have have mercy upon us, for we are desolate and afflicted. The The troubles of our hearts are enlarged. O bring us out of our distresses. Look upon our affliction and our pain, and forgive all our sins. Consider our our enemies, for they are many, and they hate us with cruel hatred. O oh, keep our soul and deliver us. Let us not be ashamed, for we put our trust in thee. Let integrity and uprightness preserve us, for we wait on thee. Remember Israel, us, O oh Lord. Redeem us, O oh God. Out of all our troubles, in the name of Jesus. Father, redeem us out of all our troubles. And Father, we pray tonight that you redeem Israel, Lord, that you protect Israel. Father, that you will be Bring a fire around Israel yes. in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray for salvation for the Israelites in the mighty name, name of Jesus. Jesus. Father, we pray that you will open the you eyes of your people, your God, people. in the mighty name, name of Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Forgive our sins. Forgive, Forgive our, our sins. sins. And Lord, sins. Lord God, God, have mercy have upon mercy us and deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us from the things of this day deliver us from this age deliver us from new age deliver us Lord God from the lies that we have been fed from the enemies Lord deliver us from father uh, racism deliver us Lord God from hatred and, and unforgiveness Lord Jesus help your people Lord Help your people be merciful unto us, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Even in this pandemic, because the churches were closed, so many people, they didn't read their Bibles, they didn't pray. They just went on as usual. But God, we pray for your mercy. Raise up a generation, Father, Lord God, that will be on fire for you. That will birth out new things, Father. Touch your people, God. Be committed. Lord God, the church, the fallen church into your hands and ask that you restore us for your mercy's sake in the mighty name of Jesus. Have mercy, have mercy upon your people, God. Be merciful upon your people, Lord Jesus, and draw us back unto you, Lord God. We pray for our pastors, Lord, that you will strengthen them in their weakness. We pray, God, that you provide the resources Father, there was a ram in the bush for Abraham. I pray, Father, that there'll be a ram in the bush for your pastors all over the earth. We pray for Pastor Mark and we use him as a point of contact to touch each and every pastor, even in this season, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray that you will touch them, Father. Father, where there is fear, faith will evolve in the name of Jesus. We pray for provision, Lord God, where there seems to be no way that, Lord, you will make ways. We pray, Father, that even as the countries are opening up, Lord God, that there will be no pestilence, no disease that will come into the house of God, Father. We pray that where the light was dim, that, Father, your Holy Spirit will bright, brightly, will shine brightly in our congregation, Lord, that even as they come in when they're sick, as they walk through the doors of the sanctuary, healing will begin to take place physically, emotionally, spiritually, financially. Do a new thing in this season, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, display your glory, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray for healing in the lives of your people, Lord. Heal us psychologically, emotionally, financially, spiritually, economically. Heal your people, Father. Heal us in the name of Jesus. Increase our faith, I pray. 
God, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Bind our families as one, Lord. Where there's separation, Father, I pray for your mercy. I pray, Lord God, that you will step in and bring our families together as one. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. I'm so sleepy. Praise God. Church the world. Nobody like that. The world. Nobody like God anywhere. Mm -hmm. the world. That is for sure. Amen. So we bless God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Father, as we put our trust in you, let us not be ashamed. And Father, we pray that our enemies will never, ever triumph over us in the mighty name of Jesus. You know, God asked David, he said, okay, pick your, pick your punishment. And David said, whatever you want, God, but do not turn me over to man. Yes. Hmm? My face was right there. Do not turn me over to man. You, you do the punishment. We pray today that our enemies will never triumph over us. Yes, Lord. Never triumph over us. Never triumph over my family, Lord. Never triumph. That our enemies never have their way with us, God. Do not turn us over to flesh in the name of Jesus Christ. Because, God, we know that you are merciful. Ah, hey, Baba. Thank you for your mercies. Thank you for your mercies. God, and you renew mercy. grace each and every day in our lives, God. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. You were going to say something. I was just gonna say, um, I am, I am, I am gonna get to see something. You got seventy thousand people killed. Ain't nothing you can do about it. <laughs> so I have to ask God to let us never, <laughs> to the best of our abilities, um, walk in the let make decisions from the flesh amen yeah. but we have to you know it's important that we go to God before we make decisions that we ask the Lord is this the way in which we should go yes. you know Moses said God if you don't go with us you know don't send us we're not going Lord, Lord, don't send me okay we need your presence. We need you with us. Yes. We need to be walking in the way that we ought to go. Show us the way in which we ought to go. Amen. Amen. We need the Lord to light up our path. You know, we need the wisdom of God to navigate our lives. Amen. Amen. Uh, you know, to, to show us how to go around the obstacles you know yeah. that come up in life amen? amen and this is why it is so important for us to stay in the word of god and not just stay in the word of god but to pray to have conversations with god to let god know that god we are nothing without you we don't know we have to come to you for protection amen amen we have to come to you for protection because the bible says Vain is the help of man because they will do things and then they say, oh, look what I did for you. Look what I did. God says, I will not share my glory. Amen. Amen. I will not share my glory. To God be the glory. If it had not been for the Lord that was on our side, you know, praise the Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. Had it not been the Lord that was on our side. I mean, we are a walking miracle, you know. Which psalm is it? Is it Psalm? I think it's Psalm 140 that says, um, uh, or is it Psalm 40? Remember that Psalm we used to, uh, we used to pray every night and we used to say, they said, Hundred. Uh huh. Hundred. Oh, wow. I don't know. Psalm is a song every night. I used to read it. Yeah. But anyway, it's 
said, you know, like our enemy said, you know, the Lord will not see or the Lord will not hear. And um, who will stand for them or something like that? How can I not remember that scripture right now? You know, but anyway, we know that as, you know, as children of God, that he will always um, stand up for us. He will always protect us. Yes. You know? And, um, who will show us any good? Light up the light. Which song is that again? The light of our countenance. They said, who will show us any good? What song is that again? Um, let's see. Who will show us any good? Four? Or five? Is Amen. Psalm four six. Mm -hmm. Oh, you are. Yeah. There be many that say, "Who will show us any good?" Lord, lift thou up the light of thy countenance up on us. There are many that will say, "Oh, who will show them any good? Who will do anything for them?" But you know, the Bible says that you know, as for me and my children, we were, we are for signs and wonders. Amen. Mm -hmm. See, it makes a difference when your hope is in the Lord. It's not in your abilities. It's not in your qualifications. It's not in um, the reputation of someone that you know. Oh, because I know that person, and they they're they're good on their job. They've been they they can get me in. It's based up on your relationship with God and who God is in your life. God is our source. Amen. Amen. He's our defense. My God. My God. My God. My God. My God. You know, he's our rock. He said, I'll put you in the cleft of the rock and I will pass by and cover you with my hand. You know, I'll cover you. So danger to my God. God is amazing. Hallelujah. God is amazing, is amazing, is amazing, is amazing beyond amazing. How he is so thoughtful and so specific towards us. Yeah. To the point where he has numbered the hairs on our heads. Hair number one, hair number two, hair number three, hair number four. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. So they say, you know, who, who shall show them any good? You know? But God, but God. Because his mercy endureth forever. Amen. Amen. But God. So we are grateful to God. Amen. Amen. We are grateful unto God. We trust him. And our prayers that our enemies will never, ever, ever triumph over us. Because your the will of your enemy is to destroy you. Yes. Is to see you down all the time to hold you down and this is why he lies to the masses so much and people there are people who believe there's no god oh you know yeah. I, you know when i hear people say oh oh you know um i i know there's something greater out there with this this big universe or whatever but you know i there's got to be something but you don't believe in god you know you know you know it is it, it just amazes me that they don't even hear themselves speaking uh -huh. you know right. people who talk about they're worshiping their ancestors what ancestors yeah. the ones that died and left you in poverty that did not bible says that a good man leaves an inheritance for their children's children and your ancestors left you in 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 in, in idolatry and sin and iniquity they didn't even take the time to pray for their, uh, 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 um, what do you call that? Uh, Bloodline. Blood you know? 
lots of people today are struggling because of iniquity that runs through the bloodline because there was not a legacy of righteousness jesus there was not a legacy of righteousness in their bloodline and there were people in their bloodline that had anointing but guess what they wasted it wasted their anointing by corrupting it there were people who were prophets and prophetesses who became soothsayers and psychics mm. and rejected the God that created them. And all that stuff that's in there. Yeah. But look how God has pulled her out. Back up. Thank you. Back up. How God has pulled her out. And her pulling out and being obedient and interceding for them is what is going to change that bloodline standing in the gap standing in the gap in being an intercessor and interceding and saying god have mercy upon them true yeah. and it's the same thing for us the repair of the breach according to isaiah well the repair of the breach you know through one man sin came into the world through one man redemption came jesus came with the blood and so sometimes it takes one person in your family to be saved and that person sitting before god and saying god have mercy upon my family and save them save them be merciful god came to abraham and he said to abraham i'm going to destroy sodom and gomorrah abraham began to intercede because why? He knew that his nephew and his family lived there. Not that they were righteous, but they were his blood. So he began to intercede for them. Okay, Moses. Where did Here comes Moses. And God says, Moses, move from in front of me so I can, <laughs> can destroy those people and start a new nation with you. Moses began to intercede. He said, Father, have mercy. Be merciful. You are merciful. You know? intercession is very important we're even instructed to pray for our enemies god be merciful unto them because if the full wrath of god should come down upon them who can, stand? Hmm? who can stand the judgment of god amen so we pray that our enemies will never triumph over us we pray that the enemies of our pastors and his family, of his ministry, will never, never triumph. triumph over him. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. We pray for our missionaries that are all over the globe, some of them in very dangerous parts of the world. Father, we just commit them into your hands. We pray, God, that you will put them in the cleft of the rock and cover them, hide them from those who hate them. Let not their enemies triumph over them. In the mighty name of Jesus, protect them and their families, God, and make provisions for them. Make ways where there seems to be no way. And Father, never let their faith fail them, we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. So important. We pray for the salvation of our family members. We plead the blood of Jesus through our bloodline. Father, forgive the iniquities of our forefathers, Father. Forgive them. Forgive them, Lord God. Forgive, Father. Let the blood of Jesus cleanse our foundation, Lord God. And restore our stolen virtues. Restore our blessings, Lord God, that have been tied up because of sin and iniquity, God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, forgive where the men in our family have been abusive to women, to their wives. In the name of Jesus, Father. For the Bible says that because they have not loved their wives, taken care of their wives, their prayers are not heard. We pray for mercy, Lord. We pray for mercy, God. Where they've turned their backs on. 
where they've committed all types of atrocities that are speaking against our generation. We pray for your mercy. Have mercy, Lord God. Lots of these kids running rampant on the streets. These young men locked up in prison. Jesus, have mercy. No one stood in the gap. No family of no legacy of righteousness. Father, we pray for your mercy for those who are locked up behind bars. Have mercy upon them, Father. We pray that even while they're in prison, that God, the word of God will reach them. That God, you will saturate their hearts. Give them hearts of flesh. Hey, God, we plead the blood of Jesus Christ. For the innocent one that was caught up. Jesus. Those who were molested. Even as children. We pray that their virtues will be restored. We pray God that their glory will be restored for your mercy's sake. Have mercy God. Have mercy Lord Jesus. Plead the blood of Jesus over every prison God, in the name of Jesus, we pray for those who are in prison right now. Jelani, Brandon, Jeremiah Wharton, Torrance, Michael, isn't that his name? Yeah, Michael Lackey. Michael Lackey. God, you know their stories. You know their situations. God, there's much prayer has gone up. We pray for your mercy. We pray, God, that you will be the judge, that you will be the defense attorney. God, touch the hearts of the prosecutors. Father, all those unjust cases, some of them are unjust. We pray that you will give them sleepless nights until they revisit those cases. In the mighty name of Jesus. We pray for mercy upon these ones, Lord. We pray for mercy, mercy upon them, Lord. Have mercy, God, in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. We pray for mercy. Pray for divine protection over their lives. Pray for salvation for Sadiq and Latrell and Father Nikir and Justin and Kayla and Brandon and Michael, Kiara, Devon, and Brianna, and Tawanda, Lamar, Lemuel, Kwame, Ezekiel, Devonia, Hannah, Jonah, Michael, John Tay, Jeremiah, Robert, Torrance, Brandon, Dante, uh, Heather, JJ, Jelani, Theodore, Sia, and Cynthia. We pray for their salvation. We pray for mercy over their life. We pray, God, that you will give them hearts of flesh, God, and we pray that your Holy Spirit will draw them unto you, God. We pray for deliverance, not just for them, but for their acquaintances, their friends, their families, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. We pray that you will give them a heart, let your fire burn on the inside of them. Father, give them a desire for your word. The disciples on the road to Emmaus, when they walked with Jesus, when they recognized him as he sat at the table with them to break bread, they said, didn't our hearts burn inside of us as he spoke? God, let their hearts burn as they hear the word, as they meditate on the word. Let their hearts burn for you. Hey, Baba God, let their hearts burn for you, Father. Do a new thing. Hey, Baba, in the name of Jesus. Let there be a divine visitation in the prisons, Lord. In the prison cells, God. Oh, Father, have mercy. Have mercy. Father, we plead the blood of Jesus over the cities. The cities of this nation. Where our young men are running rampant, God. Breaking in, entering, murdering one another. Carjacking. These young children, Father who have no value, no value for life, for their own lives, because there's not a spiritual, not a, 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 a righteous foundation. 
some of them running from things they don't even understand. We pray that you'll open the eyes of their understanding. We plead the blood of Jesus over them. Father, we pray for these families that have lost loved ones through the to, to the, the, the acts of the police. And we cover the police in the blood of Jesus Christ. We pray for the police that the bad ones will be weeded out, God. But we know that not every police is bad. Not every police is out to kill black kids. Some of these situations, God, is frightening for the police officers too. But Father, for those who with evil intent in their hearts have committed murder, let justice be served in the name of Jesus. And we pray for the families that have lost their loved ones, God. We pray, God, that you will comfort them. Comfort them, Lord God. We pray, Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we pray. Cover our firefighters, Lord Jesus. I pray that, you know, America will heal from this racism. I pray that there will be a starting point for healing, God, in the name of Jesus. Let justice be served, we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray for our doctors and our nurses on the front line, Lord God, that have been working tirelessly this whole year to fight this COVID. God, strengthen them physically, emotionally, spiritually. Strengthen them in the name of Jesus. But in this time, I pray that you will strengthen families, bring us together as one Father. I pray that you will unite families, God. Restore marriages, restore broken homes in the name of Jesus. Oh God, have mercy and keep us together, I pray. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Glory to God, thank you, Lord, amen. Uh, First Peter chapter four. Glory to glory to glory to glory. Glory to glory to glory to glory. Amen. Glory to God. To God be the glory. Amen. I read Psalm, I'm sorry, Psalm chapter 5 and verse 6. Amen. Living for God. He said Psalm 5 or 6. Mm -hmm. Living for God. So then since Christ suffered physical pain, you must arm yourselves with the same attitude he had and be ready to suffer too. For if you have suffered physically for Christ, you have finished with sin. You won't spend the rest of your lives chasing your own desires, but you will be anxious to do the will of God. You have had enough in the past of the evil things that godless people enjoy, their immorality and lust, their feasting and drunkenness and wild parties, and their terrible worship of idols. Hey Amen. You see that? Wild parties. Yeah. Excessive wine. Lust. Worship of idols. Worship people think. Of idols. People, people, the kids, people think um, schools are cool. I go to Christians' homes, people who say they believe in God, well, you know, uh, and they have big old statues. Ryan's mom has a big old statue of Buddha in, in really? front of her house when you walk in. When you walk in where my table is, she's put a big old statue. And I told her, I said, I'm not coming back into your house as long as you have Of course statue. not. Man, that's crazy. Because everybody wants to be cool. Yeah, that's you what know? they think. They, make you, it they have all these pictures of this Buddha or this other Indian God that they think is cool and, and it's in their homes. And then they say, they're, oh, it's just a picture. It looks nice. No, no, no. It's an idol. And when you have those things in your home, they draw evil spirits. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, we wonder why, you know, all of a sudden, you know, we have financial issues. We have problems in our marriages. Our children are acting wild you know it's because of the you cannot god says listen you either cold 
are your hearts. But you can't be lukewarm. Okay? You can't be lukewarm. Amen. And, Verse 3. And, and, and I feel that. Verse 3. I feel that because... Um, it says in verse three, you have right now in the past of the evil thing. Yeah, yeah. Mm. We need to be able to be talking about it. Yeah. Every day, I have enough people Once saying that. Once you they're... have made that decision that I'm going to follow Christ, and may the Lord help us because, you know, how many of us have backslidden or whatever. But that pull from the Holy Spirit should be strong. You have to. You have to make up your mind and your heart that I'm going to serve God no matter what. Sure. I've had enough of this. And like, remember when we had that um, praise and worship that Friday, and it was just, it was so good. And I was like, people think that when they come to Christ that they can't enjoy life anymore. That's oh, I, you know, um, we can have, we, we had an hour of praise and worship. That was a party. Yeah. We clapped hands and danced and rejoiced. Right. 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 When uh, we, me and Camilla did our performance, Yao said after, she was like, people be thinking uh, gospel rap is boring and stuff, but it don't have to be boring and stuff. No. Exactly. Because you're declaring Jesus Christ to the masses. Exactly. And, and when how... Jesus comes in, things begin to change. I was anointed to preach the gospel, right? Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Of course, your former friends are surprised when you no longer plunge into the flood ah, of water. As you, are go as you are and Camilla are experiencing with your exactly. former friends. Man. You're living this, right? Living this. They Everyone. think it is strange that you run not with them to the same excess of riots speaking evil of you. Exactly. Yeah, we mm -hmm. live in that right now. Mm -hmm. Right now. Mm -hmm. When you no longer plunge into the flood of wild, destructive things they do, so they slander you. But remember, they will have to face God, who stands ready to judge everyone, both the, the living Lord and have the dead. Mercy. May the Lord have mercy. May the Lord have mercy. This is why the good news. Okay, verse. Six. That is why the good news was preached to those who are now dead. So, although they were destined... For, uh, uh, for this cause was the gospel preached also to them that are dead, and that they might be judged according to men in the flesh, but live according to God what in the spirit. What does that mean? What's, what? Spiritual dead? Um, or real dead? That's he's talking about. Remember, he was talking about when Jesus went, he went to, to hell. hell. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's what it's referring to. The end of the world is coming soon. Therefore, be earnest and disciplined in your prayers. Mm. Most important of all, continue to show deep love for each other, for love covers a multitude of sins. Cheerfully share. I don't have my hand. I was looking for it. It's not in your Bible. Bad. It's right there. That's not it in your Bible. I don't know why you keep taking it out. Sometimes Here. I'm reading at work. I, um... Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to throw it hard. Throw it hard, Mr. Thank you. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. Most Good. important, I'll continue. You said. Understanding that the end of all things. Dang. Therefore, sober and watch on the prayer. Be vigilant in prayer. Vigilant. Most important of all, continue to show deep love for each other, for love continues a multitude of sin. Covers a multitude of sin. Covers a multitude of sin. When you you love someone, you mm -hmm. pray for them. You don't slander them. You don't True. bring out their sins to the whole world. And he's talking about those of us in the church, right. in the kingdom of God. We're falling apart. I mean, we, you know, pray for one another, uphold one another. Mm -hmm. You know, may God forgive us for every time we slander someone. Forgive us, Lord God. You know, especially going out there and speaking to non-Christians about Christians. 
-hmm. Cheerfully share your home with those who need a meal or a place to stay. God has given each of you a gift from his great variety of spiritual gifts. Use them well to serve one another. Do you have the gift of So you see, he's talking to the church. Yeah. He's talking to the church. Mm. And those of us in the church, how we are to... See, like how that lady... And remind me, I'm going to put something in my phone because I want to give her a little token yeah. of okay. love. Yeah. Because she stood there True. and waited on you in the dark with you until I got there. True. You know? True. That really touched my heart, you know? Yeah. Telling her I'm like, is he saved? She and then said she, no. then Jackie um called me when I was in there to see if I was okay. Remember I told you I was getting my hair done. They called me and they were like, "Are you okay?" Yeah. yeah like, that is what the church is about. True. When you're in a ministry, you know. I remember when I had stopped going to you know that ministry a couple years ago. We started when I I had to work on Saturdays and I stopped going and start. Not one person in that small little ministry called one day to say, are you okay? We have not seen you. Is everything all right? That is what the church is about. True. It's about loving one another enough to care. True. True. Let's care about one another. Let's show love. Let's show charity. Are you okay? Who else asked you if you were okay? Everybody went home. True. But she took notes. Amen? Yeah. And that's what charity is all about. It's Trevor. Every time there's food at the, the right. church, he drops off a box here. True. Yeah. That's love. That's charity. You know? We pray for him. We pray for his house. We pray that he will, his vehicle will never break down. Amen. May God bless him, bless his household, bless the works of his hands for his kindness. True. In the name of Jesus, yes. we're grateful for that. You know? Amen. We're grateful that his utilities will never be turned off because that's a blessing. Yeah. A blessing now our house is like obedee we have overflowing yeah. of stuff <laughs> you know we have overflowing of stuff true amen do you have the gift of speaking then speak as though god himself was speaking through you do you have the gift of helping others do it with all the strength and energy that god supplies then everything you do will bring glory to god through jesus christ all glory and power to him forever and ever Amen. Suffering for being a Christian. Dear friends, don't be surprised at the fiery trials you are going through as if something strange were happening to you. Hmm. Instead, be very glad for these trials. Make you partners with Christ in his suffering so that you will have the wonderful joy of seeing his glory when it is revealed to all the world. If you are insulted because you bear the name of Christ, you will be blessed for the glorious spirit of God. Rest upon you. If you suffer, however, it must not be for murder stealing making trouble or prying into other people's affairs but it is no shame to suffer for being a christian praise god for the privilege of being called by his name for the time has come for judgment and it must begin with god's household and if judgment begins with us what terrible fate awaits those who have never obeyed god's good news and also if the righteous are barely saved what will happen to the godless sinners so if you are suffering in a manner that pleases God, keep on doing what is right and trust your lives trust your lives to God who created you and forever will never fail you. Well, listen to this. Verse 17 says, For the time is now, is come, that judgment must begin at the house of God. This is why this message is to the Christians. Get yourself together. Okay, because judgment is going to begin at yeah. the house with you. Right. Okay. And if it first begin with us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of God? If God is going to judge his own people, what happens to those that are outside of the church? Is what he's saying. And if the Man. righteous scarcely be saved. Do you hear that? 
scarcely barely make it in by the skin of your teeth where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear my god have mercy so i pray for my friends i, so I pray for every single person Does. Wherefore, let them that suffer according to the will of God commit the keeping of their souls to him in well-doing as unto a faithful creator. My God in Zion, may God be glorified in our lives. Not people just be... Just living anyhow. Man. Just wilding out. That's why I think... God... So I was telling her before you came, I was just telling her my testimony and I was just thinking God because I was like, who, my mom, me and my mom didn't know we was going to get a 460 nights because that's what, that was last time. Yeah. So I was just thanking God and it just made me think, man, it's just, just wild I'll be, it'd be, it'd be, I think I, I've, heard or seen somewhere that it's not it's not because of us that we have faith but it's a gift from god it's a gift from god that we have it's faith. a gift from god you know so i just thank god he gave me this gift to have faith and i think i thank god always for my mommy i always thank god for my mommy because even though i didn't wasn't in in the you know word and stuff i always believed i always knew that was jesus christ now she said believe me if you didn't teach me, how would well, I would know? Daddy well, wouldn't teach me. You were born with that anointing. I mean, I've told you about some of the stuff that you did as a child, yeah. and that's why Zona always called you Pastor Clark. True. She always did called you Pastor, Pastor Clark, Clark because there was something different about you True. in a spiritual sense. True. Even but Pastor James, like even when you used to go to church, you used to ask, Pastor James used to say, these adults don't even ask the questions that Mikael. He loved when you came. Especially True. to the Bible study yeah. on Wednesday nights yeah, because knows. you had all these questions that adults weren't thinking about, True. you know? And he was like, wow. Man, I love Pastor James. Yeah. And Pastor Frank. Amazing people that God brought into our yeah, lives. Yeah, definitely amazing people. You know, that, that has prayed many prayers for us. Many prayers has blessed us. Oh, man, I have blessed mm -hmm. us, man. So I am watching videos. I'm, I, I'm grateful to God for those people. Grateful yeah. to God for bringing those people into my life. Just grateful to God. Amen. Amen. You know, and we, we just we pray for them. We pray for their ministries even now that you know there will be no lack. Oh. Olive's pastor, um, church. The pat they paid off their building in the pandemic. I don't know how much they owed or whatever, but she said, Pastor told them that they're debt free as far as their building is concerned, their church is concerned. Debt yeah. in a pandemic. Yeah, be Connect Point. Uh, Amen. Testimony. That will be our testimony at Connect Point. I'm telling you because I told you I, I, there was an overflow. Pastors keep saying that every day. I dreamt it. That. I dreamt it that there was an overflow, Man, which means that. the sanctuary was filled. And they had other rooms with people in there, other places that people had to sit out. They couldn't come into the sanctuary. Man, I you want know. that to manifest for real. Yeah. And not even for, because it says to like, uh, what's that, like motives. I want it for the glory of God. I just want people to. Just to see people's it. lives transformed. Yeah. Even us to grow more in True. the Lord. It's always room to grow. Hey, God. Ay, 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 ay. For us to grow more, to be deeper, to see. In a way, may Man. the Lord open our eyes to see things in a in a way that we've never Man. seen before. And, um, I was reading Elijah today. Man, it was just that is a story of a story. Like when you seen um Elisha, I mean seeing Elijah um go the up. And he says, and Master, they were I see walking together yeah. and the chariot just separated. came and just picked up Elijah. That's yeah. just then right after he picked up his coat, slapped the water, and it parted. He was, and then the people was like, oh, Elijah's spirit fell on Elisha. Because that's what he asked for, a double portion. That's just crazy. That's why I asked God today, I'm like, man, whatever it takes to get to that point. Because it was like, 
remember his first miracle was the salt with the water they was like the water just like get some salt and it said to this day and even we see a lot of miracles in elisha's ministry we see where he's told um ezekiah what to do to right. To, to heal that sickness, that right. boil or whatever it is he had, you know, to put the fig on it yeah. or whatever. You know, this is why I even some of my clients that I have, you know, like I remember I told Mr. Charles, I said, pray to God, you know, ask God to take away this Parkinson's. And he's like, oh, God doesn't, what do you say? God doesn't answer every question or every request or something. I said, well, unless you ask, you're not going to know. <laughs> You know, Same. you ask in faith. Remember, True. he said he talked about Asa. He never asked God to heal him. True. Not just when you was. Praying. And it mentioned it in the Bible. Right. He never asked God. He kept going to the doctors. What does that mean? David had a stroke and he prayed. He said, God, take this stroke away from me. Wow. Well, my mom had that stroke. That was my prayer. God, take that stroke away from my mom. True. Ah, oh, may our faith grow. No, I just learned when you was praying that Asa was from Jesus' bloodline. Yeah. Because okay. remember, Jesus came from David's bloodline. Yeah. Well, Asa came from Samuel, oh from not Samuel, Solomon's. Um, what's what Solomon's son that? Uh, it was, it was, I just read it. It was Jehoshaphat. No. The one that came after Solomon. Girl. Was not Jehoshaphat. Solomon, the widow, the father of Rehoboam. Rehoboam, the wicked one. <laughs> and then it was, it was Asa's son was Jehoshaphat. Mm -hmm. Well, Jehoshaphat was a good king. Yeah, Jehoshaphat. Yeah, that one was good. good. The other ones were not good. Yeah, Jehoshaphat was good. Jehoshaphat just followed Ahab and almost got himself killed. True. <laughs> mm. You know, and that, when I read that, that scripture, I always think we should not allow our emotions to lead us. True. Let the Spirit of God lead us and guide us. Because he's like, you know, we're one flesh. He's like, let's oh, go yeah, to he war. And he's that. like, oh, we're one flesh. My army is your army. But do you have a man that speaks to God? Yeah. <laughs> you know? And he kept asking because he was not, he knew. It, it, it did not sit well with him when all these prophets came to prophesy. Yeah. You know, but yet still he went. Oh my God. Oh. Mm, and that's where Ahab got killed. But we bless the Lord. And we pray for wisdom and the guiding and the leading of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you. you see, everything is in the Bible. It talks about that in chapter 4. For the time past of our lives may suffice us to have wrought the will of the Gentiles. When we were sinners, he's like, that time has passed when we wanted to do all those things. Generally, right? Yeah. When we walked in lasciviousness, lust, excess wine, revel, we did all of that stuff. So now, because of that, because we used to run to the clubs with them, because we used to smoke with them, because we used to drink and crazy with them, you know. Now it says, wherein they think it is strange that now you don't want to go with them. <laughs> you know? For the same excess of riot, speaking evil of you. Now they're like, you know, oh, remember when he, all they can think about is it's your past. past. But now Jesus says you are his, the righteousness of Christ, right? So no longer are you that person that used to sit and smoke with them and drink with them and party with them and all this kind of stuff, right? Because now your name has changed, your character has changed, okay? Definitely. Right? But they cannot because they're walking in darkness. They can't see the new man. They can't see the new person. I was watching um Joshua Selmer today, um, and it was like uh, he said he was with one of his friends, and it was like, ah, we see you got new uh, clothes, we see you living rich and all that. He was like, what's wrong with this man? He don't see that God changed. It's not. It's, he don't see the love of God. The he DNA see, of Jesus yeah, Christ in you. All he sees is riches mm -hmm. and all that stuff. That's all. Because blind. they're in darkness, they're blind. They can't right. see 
the blessings. The Bible says that when the uh, the ark came to Obedidim's house, he was blessed. <laughs> Everybody I around love was that blessed. Story. Right? No, I, I Why? Because the Spirit of God was there. It will transform your life. True. And not just your life, but go to your neighbor's But life. everyone around you, because the Spirit of God is in you, so you are blessed to be a blessing. Sure. And because you carry God's DNA, you know that you're not you don't you're not mean, you're not a miser, you don't hold back. Sure. You bless those around you. Right? God be <laughs> Yeah, to bless. So they don't see that. And they don't see that they can they too can partake of that blessing True. if they look and you know the foolishness of people is that they look at your life and they said you know what me and this kid we used to hang out we used to party we used to smoke we used to drink and now that he is accepted christ and changed his ways and going to church they don't see that you're blessed they're looking at it and they say oh now you got a new car now you got it is so foolish that they don't even realize that because you have accepted Christ, your life has been changed and you're being blessed. And instead of them saying, I want to partake of that, I want to break bread with you, they look at you, oh, now you think you're different. Now uh, you're so different. Now you're not the same person. You're not. And they, their eyes are so, their eyes are not open. They're in darkness. They don't see it. They don't get it. They don't. It's literally darkness. It's literally darkness. Before Isn't God, it? um, said let there be light and darkness was it's the literally earth. the people of the world are literally walking in darkness they can't even see that because you know you, you stop and you look at it and you say you know what my friend and i we used to smoke weed we used to go party we used to go check the girls we used to do this we used to do that but now that you know they start going to church and change and you know, now he's different. You know, things are changing. His life is better. They don't even realize that God. Jesus made the difference. Exactly. They want to criticize and, oh, may God have mercy. You know, that's that's a powerful scripture right there. That is a powerful scripture right there. Yeah, and it, it explains mm -hmm. a lot of things. It explains why those kids just blocked us. Yeah, they don't exactly. want to get the scriptures they anymore. They don't want to get the scriptures exactly. And I knew I knew who it was. They I knew stopped it was. coming to prayer. The prayer. They're still sitting and out right there, there at, while prayer is going on. You yeah, know, that's crazy. Hmm? That's crazy. Why they stopped talking to you and connect? Exactly. Because and transformation is happening exactly. in your lives. And look at when they blocked it after you showed the video. You exactly. shared the video. Exactly. Because there's movement in your lives. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. For signs and wonders. Mm -hmm. This is why Jesus said, you are a light on a hill. Exactly. Let them see the light of God mm -hmm. in you. Exactly. You can see the friends that it did reach. Okay, was still asking me which group do you go on because it's still begging me to get baptized. So I'm like, I'm an ex preacher. And that's, yeah. And we continue to pray for these ones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For the chains to be broken. broken. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, Skill and, they, and Luttrell and Daniel, they wanted to get baptized. They were there. Yeah. Kind of. They weren't forced. Who yeah, forced they weren't them? forced. They weren't forced. It was a decision that they made. True. They wanted to. Daniel wanted to. True. Daniel definitely wanted But now she's feeling convicted. And that's what it is. She feels convicted. But Christ isn't convicting her. True. Okay. And one thing they've got to understand. You cannot fix yourself. Of course you have not. to come to Christ. How you are. And say, Christ, fix me. Break this addiction off my life. Mm. Break this relationship out of my life. Change my life. See me. Yeah. Until you they release that to Christ, you can't change. Mm -hmm. They can, if they they're waiting to get married. Oh, I'm gonna change my. We gotta get married first. They get married. There are decisions you have to make. Let me tell you something. Jesus said to Peter. Peter said, if that's you, bid me to come. He says, come. Come. Okay. Come. 
got to step out of the boat. True. And trust that you're walking to Jesus. True. And while you're walking to him and your eyes upon him, you stay on top of the ladder. Dang, I want to see that. So we pray that God will open the eyes of their understanding. True. We pray that the Holy Spirit will impress upon them pray that they have the encounter. love of Jesus. That they will encounter God for themselves mm -hmm. in a way that will transform their bloodline. Mm -hmm. That their lives will be so transformed that mm -hmm. their families have to say, uh-uh, we need this Jesus. True. We want this Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we pray that the Lord will break off every unholy alliance out of their lives. He will break every addiction addiction in their lives True. in the name of jesus that every power that is challenging his hand in their life that the lord will destroy judge that power in the name of jesus in jesus amen. name amen let's pray for their salvation psalm 91 is a good scripture. I like this scripture. Verse Peter 4. Ah, those oh, days when I sat through this Bible, dear Lord. Bring me back. Bring me back, dear Lord. To Man. the place where I was where reading I today. Last year, so it's like it. Huh? I can't. Why? Well, there's no words to explain. I would say it's like. Eating milk and honey. Bye, yeah. Shut up in your bones. Mm. Yeah, it's like honey, right? Sweet. Every time you the word of God is word. so sweet. That's why I be trying to tell my friends. Like, it's so I be sweet. trying to tell them. Like, it's like putting on clothes now. You got to read the word. It's like you got to put on the shirt. You got to read that word every day. It's like honey. It's like so I sweet. told God. I told God, as long as I live, I'm never going to get tired of reading it. Mm. You know, when I was reading Elijah, felt like I read it for the first time. Elisha is no joke, honey. Elisha's bone brought a dead man back to life. Exactly. Now he turned around and After cursed he them died. kids. And a bear came. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Now Elijah just parted the, uh, I forgot what she that's called. And his loyalty, because he was like, I'm not going to leave you. When he was like, stay here, God told me to go to the Jordan Sea. He was like, no, nah, I'm not leaving you. He was hungry. Yeah. He was hungry. Nah, remember you kept saying, like, how do those people know that Elijah's going to die? Because they can't tell him. He was like, don't talk about it. Not, don't talk about it. He didn't want to hear that. You know, I wonder. Like it gotta be like a recipe how Elijah got there. Like how what Elijah got to God talking to him in the whirlwind. God bringing him up in a chariot. Elijah. Elijah. He just dedicated his life, you know, and um. We, we just should. dedicated his life to God. That was it. Knew his calling and dedicated his life to God. You know, yes. you see, the thing about it with a lot of um, men and of God in these days, and when I say men, I'm talking about men and women in these days, is that their dedication is limited. limited. They're not, and we're not willing to look. Elisha, I don't even know if Elijah had a house. Where did he live? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, he didn't have a house. You know, God a sent cave. him into by the 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 brook where's the brook in the forest where's the brook no, for 40 days no cooked food True. the ravens brought him meat yeah, that's crazy and he drank from the brook for 40 days people are not willing to do those sacrifices anymore Man. because we want comfort Get comfort. Trying to get there. Yeah. He didn't the angels wake him up, fed him. Remember they fed him? Okay. When the brook dried up, God says, Okay, get up. There's a woman in Zarephath. She's gonna feed you. Go to the widow woman. The widow woman, he gets to the widow woman. He meets her and she says, Oh, I just have a little bit of meal that I'm gonna cook for me and my son, and we gonna die. And she's collecting 
little twigs to go make a fire. Mm. Okay? Oh my God. <laughs> you just had me eating from dead, uh, drinking water and eating scraps for 40 days. Right. Now you sent me to a widow woman who don't have no food. <laughs> you know? Yeah. What's up with this? And at his word, she baked him a cake. True. And her meal never ran out. True. Yeah, that's crazy. Man. I'm, yeah. At his word, because she says, this is, he's the man of God. So if he says it, then it has to be so. True. Hey, God, if you can just keep us that thing. Man. Why? Because these men live their purpose. True. These men <clears throat> walked out their assignment. True. Elijah that went before his time. He, God wasn't finished with him yet. True. He just let a little crazy woman scared him out of his assignment. She was, and, and I just read that. She are uh, he the one who prophesied she was gonna get eaten by dogs. Yeah. He ran from her. I wonder why why that happened. Elijah, what happened right there? Yeah. You know? He said, God, I just want to die. He just became afraid of this woman. You just killed 800 of her prophets and now you're afraid of her? True. You know, but... He caused fire to come down on 50 people. Twice. <laughs> he did it twice. And then the third people was like, don't do it to us. Have yeah, mercy. But, you know? um, we don't know what happened. Maybe he just got tired. True. But, you know, <clears throat> but back to how they got to that level. Man, you know? I'm wondering. How they got to that level where it was just miracle said, after miracle sun. after miracle. He said, let Nothing it not rain, rain for three years and it didn't rain. And then he said, let, let it rain it and the rain, rain came. came. Hmm? Men, yeah. Jesus, I mean, God said, have dominion. He's put everything in our hands and told us how they work. The sun for day. The moon for night. Hmm? The lesser one to rule at night. The, the, he gave us instructions. Man, but we're too busy, especially in this generation, looking after things and things and things. And we're selfish people. Here Peter's talking about charity, helping one another, making sure. Right? That you have food, you have clothes, you have shelter. And we talking about in this day and age, I'm not taking in anybody in my house. You know, I've heard pastors say that. I've seen people in the church that needed somewhere to stay temporarily. And the pastor said, mm -mm. can't take that. Can't take nobody in our house. It's just me and our family. Peter says, have charity, love one another in the church. We have to make become and, and 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 you can blame some people sometimes because people are not trustworthy and people are selfish back those days especially in those days when when paul and peter and all of them became apostles and stuff they sold everything they had the people in the first church sold everything they had put all their money said paul this is it this is all we have so that everybody had they divided it so everybody had. You know? They can still be like that. Oh no, not in these days. We have to be really dedicated and real. Just like Pastor goes out of his way to make sure we have these boxes and you know. Even if it goes from you know. We have to get to a place man. where we become our brother's keeper where man i see that you're struggling man and you're falling back let's pray together let's walk together let's worship together come to church continue to encourage whatever we can do to help man. well that's why we need this uh, church, on church on the floor house of refuge you know somewhere kayla can stay you know i i think i reached out to her the other day i gotta reach back out to her she, i don't know if she's still living with her friend's mom but a friend moved out and she ended up staying there like, you know. But the Lord, we just pray that the Lord will help her 
She was real enjoying Bible study too. But you see it, that's how the devil works. All of a sudden her mom wants her out of her house. True. All of a sudden, out of the blue, for no reason, she wants her out of the house. You know? May the Lord restore trying to get her from day one. Her glory. When I met her, she was all about Christ. That's all she was talking about. Yeah, because I was surprised when I heard her talk about, you know, how she was studying her Bible and stuff like that. I was like, why? When I saw her notebook? Man, she was all about Christ and, and telling me to think about it. And we didn't listen. We was all in the world. Now, when I asked her to come to Bible study, I don't believe in Christ. I'm like, girl, what to you? And she was like, my friends told me all this stuff. Yeah. And I had to correct her. I'm like, girl, don't let your friends get you out of Christ, girl. You crazy. You was talking to us about it. Now you saying you don't believe. That's why I got her to come to Bible study. And she first came. her mom wasn't going to let her come. Yeah, because at first her mom was saying she could she couldn't come. Then she started coming. You know? And yeah. as soon as she starts coming, her mom says, you we, we got to put you out. True. May the Lord have mercy and cover her under the blood of Jesus Christ and hide her under the shadow of the, wing, of the wings of Jesus Christ and ask the Lord God to protect her, to provide for her and let the spirit of the Lord continue to minister to her. We pray for her salvation in Christ. Mm -hmm that Lord, let not the struggles of life lead her into a path that is against your will for her, Lord God. What we pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, that in the midst of her struggles, in the midst of the confusion, that you will unveil yourself, reveal yourself to her, Lord God, and draw her even closer to you, Lord God. Strengthen her faith, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, and protect her, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Psalm 91. Because we dwell in the secret place of the Most High, we shall abide in the shadow of the Mighty. I will say the Lord, Lord is our refuge. our refuge and our fortress. My God in Him will we trust.